you don't know Slovan and Slovan I don't style. know Slovan. Very well. I know very, very well, well Slovan. Very... One, 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 episode one, one, one. A touchline rant brought to you by Bendy Gedig Media. Bendy Gedig Media now on board as producers of the podcast. Kind of. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at um, Premier League, some Premier League talking points. Just mm. a soup song of Premier mm -hmm. League. Bravo. Then Bravo. we're going to take a huge chunk of Leicester City and we're going to devote an entire section to Leicester City and the mighty Brendan of Rodgers. We're going to look at the international break because it's coming up and we need to look at the international fixtures. It's important. There's some very big games this week. It is a week to be very excited about. We say More goodbye to someone. Yes. Yes, we say goodbye to somebody. Um, we have... Championship Corner. Championship Corner is back. Mitchell Lewis Gad back with Championship Corner this week. Um, and yeah, just stuff like that. So just general. That, that, yeah. sounds, that sounds like a good intro so, to yeah, me. Once again, a touchline rant brought to you by Bendy Gedig Media at a touchline rant on all of those socials. What should I do now? Music. You got a minute, Ron? Mm. It's a bit of a shame you're resigning, isn't it? You know what that means, don't you? I don't have to honor your contract. Chairman, I couldn't give a damn about that. Premier League talking points. Spurs, is mid-table now becoming a real possibility for them this season? They are currently 14th, and they've only had one win in the Premier League since the 14th of September. It all depends if they're gonna hold out and opt to stay with Poch. The scale usually goes if United are underperforming, they'll yeah. cop it in the press. If Arsenal are performing, they'll cop it in the press. The fact that no one's actually talking about Spurs means they're going to be there or thereabouts this year. It's I it's think... a horrible four form case because I was a huge fan of their season last season. Yeah. And think it is hard to get motivated for this one knowing that you've just lost the Champions League final. Got Not it. enough credit has been, has been given to that. And they actually, the first time in a while, we actually saw, saw them buy players. Ndombele. Yeah, they did buy players for the first time in a while. The first so. time ever, and it's still shallow. That's what they've. Been, that's what Potter's been operating on. Don't underestimate him because they still got like class players like like Hung Min Sun, who's been an absolute revelation. If you don't know Hung Min Sun's uh, history in recent times of footballing career, I suggest you check it out because it's really fascinating. Mid okay. even if it's top end, like what what more can you do if you're Pochettino? Genuinely, I want to hear as well as the, the drama it's and the change. It's quite to go from the Champions League final to losing Champions League football in a season it can't be on Poch it's underrated how much they were overperforming consistently you made me commitments at the start of the season you haven't kept money was said to be available hasn't been made available I'm only too happy to go off to Spain Spain? yeah Spain they tell me there's a couple of clubs need a good manager there a Norwich doomed I think this one won't go on as long as the uh, Spurs section it's, a Norwich doomed. It's too early, but they Bottom just of the Premier need, League. They, they they leak so many goals. Once he they, gets his players back, it might be a diff We might see more early season Norwich wins because they've had a lot of injuries. They've, had, they've stumbled through a lot of injuries. You're right there. They have. You're right there. They have. You want that? They have. Okay. It's still too early. The Moise Ken situation. It's come out that he was um, dropped from the squad for the Southampton game because he turned up to team meetings late. Punishment was that he wasn't in the squad for the for, for the game. Mm -hmm. And now his agent, who is uh, Rayola, yep. who's uh, well known as a, you know. Be careful. Uh, a good agent for his there player. There we go, thank get, you. He will always get the best deal for them. Come He's on, get on with it, Moise Ken. Moise Ken, uh, apparently they want to try and ship him out to Milan in January basically he's in the media now for, in a negative light because it's announced that he's been dropped because he missed team meetings and then his agent's coming out and feeding the press with stories that he's going to Milan there's going to be a risk going to be a gamble at getting one of those one of those players they tried to put an arm around him tell him he's special we we like your work and we'll, mm. we'll take care of you and everything but if if the young young strikers with any sort of ego or anything like that, they're gonna have to learn the hard way and make mistakes when they're younger. So that's the part of the gamble. You can't be like an Autobot for the PR machine, can you? You're gonna no. have to make mistakes. You're gonna do stupid things. You're gonna crash Lamborghinis. You're gonna do those things if you're a footballer. Tell you a lot of fun in today's show because this week we're doing a special feature on the Lombarda. Cue music. Mm -hmm. 
Not the Lombardo. Lombardo. Do we, and I'm speaking as you and me now, <clears throat> as a Manchester United fan, myself, mm-hmm. and an Arsenal fan, yourself, mm-hmm. do we have to accept that Man United and Arsenal are no longer a top four club? And that's just how it's going to be? Uh, no, because, okay. again, you've fallen into the, the wormhole that is... Like where, how, how do you measure progression, and what can you do to get out both situations? Did you see the game? It was it was Sunday League. It was Sunday League. Mm, Those was, like the Rashi goal was fantastic. I'm a big fan of Rashford, even Rashford if you hate him. Was, I don't. You he hate him. Do enough as a number nine. Oh. I don't hate him. I rate Marcus Rashford a lot. No. However, I'm just saying, time and time again, I say the same thing. It's just Marcus Rashford is not a Manchester United number nine. He's not. He's a great player. He's Maybe a great the game wise has moved player. on, and that's exactly what you need. He didn't score Should have kept goals. Memphis to pay, and then you would have been. Yeah, Manchester United and Arsenal are they just doomed to be mid-table clubs? So, no one. so no, I just hate all the negativity. It's not helping. No negativity. Really. That's all my Premier support League is, points. Support, is support. That's. Uh, I think that's a nice way to wrap it there. Uh, oh, can we talk about Leicester a bit later on? That's the next section. Yeah, right. Adios. Look, are you going back to Atletico Madrid? That's quite possible, yeah. And have you got any final parting words for your Harchester fans? Yeah, hasta luego. <laughs> Bob, I've got it. No, 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 it's fantastic stuff. Big Ron's given me an exclusive. Yeah. He's off to Atletico Madrid. Fox Hunt. Fox Hunt. How far can this team go? Well, they're Every- outperforming <sighs> Liverpool. Everyone's giving them credit. But they're even but- better. If they hadn't have had a slower start, a limp start, yeah. If they had nowhere to go, they lost to United at Old Trafford. No one loses to United this season at Old Trafford. It was stupid. Why? Why not get carried away at the the thought of that happening again? Because everyone loves an underdog. Brendan Rodgers is arguably the best coach in the Premier League. I don't think he's a better coach than Pochettino, and I don't think he's a better coach than Guardiola or Klopp. But outside of those three, he's up there. He's very close to. He's the I'd argue right now he's the fourth best coach in the league. I think it's potentially the third. I think Joker style, they're, they're a team with nothing to lose. Can I tell you a theory that I've had over the last week? I mean, I absolutely dread to say so, but yes. Mm, uh, so, so, soy. No. Soy Anchu. Soy Anchu. Soy Anchu. Anyway, we know who you're talking about. The new Harry okay. Maguire. Yeah. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, I'm saying that uh, they found a way. To clone Harry Maguire. Uh, is this your thing? So I believe they've they've mastered the cloning of a defender. So I've got a couple of couple of things which oh. uh, it, which which are, I'm bringing to the table for evidence, which will hold up in a courtroom. Cloned his slab head. They've cloned yeah. his is is hefty chin. They yeah. cloned his general mass. And they've cloned his ability to defend, generally. Put general there, I'm figuring out the specifics. But I can show you a picture of their faces <laughs> to scale. Yeah. And tell me, they, they probably got the same weighted head. I'm just throwing it out there now, yeah? If this theory that you have, that Leicester City have cloned Harry Maguire... Was... I think he's a regen. I think they've made a him regen. Turkish. Yeah. Uh, just so it'll throw him off. The scent. <laughs> throw them off. Throw them off their cloning abilities. <laughs> Leicester City are uh, run, operate their football club the best in the country. This Discuss. section started with how far can Leicester City get into the Premier League, and you've gone down a cloning wormhole somehow. <laughs> Prove me I don't wrong. Know how that happened. Prove me wrong. Leicester, Leicester City, City run their club Leicester fantastically City. well. Okay, Jamie Vardy's thirty-two. You've seen the pitch. And everything. In- as far as uh, sports, health and nutrition goes, you've never lived in a better time. I think players now could potentially go and move into another transition of their, their, of their career. And like, if they've taken care of themselves, like Jamie Vardy has drunk a lot of Red Bull. Santi Cazola himself is 35 and will be playing with Spain. Jamie Vardy's drunk a lot of Red Bull. International, 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 international time again. Wales. This is it. This is yeah, go time. And then they got hungry at home. 
All they have to do is beat Hungary at home and they qualify. And if you'd asked Ryan Giggs at the start of this campaign if he would have taken having to beat Hungary at home on the final day of qualifying, he would have bitten your arm off for that. Wales can beat in the Euros. They can. Exciting times. It's, it's, I'm really looking forward to it. That was the first bit. What do you tell me about the new shirt? That's well, the next bit they, of Welsh They've news. got a new shirt. They've got a new shirt. And people um, are happy. They're saying, some, well, some people are saying that it looks like a Spain top Re rebranded. Mm, that's an interesting. That's what I don't like the orange on the red. Why? Do, why not? I just don't like it. But you know what that's from? No, I don't like. It's it. from a banner of Owen Glendor. Yeah. That okay. is the meaning behind those 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 uh, colours. So okay. if, tell me, if, if you hate those colours of 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 the kit, then mm. you're a heathen. And you and you're anti Wales. So I I can either in my next statement become an anti-hero to the country I was born and raised in and have lived in yeah, my entire right, life yeah. or I could tell the truth and say that I don't like orange when it's mixed with red yeah. it's an interesting choice I prefer yellow when it's mixed with red I've got to be honest that's my own sense Historical, but I don't want to be a heathen you can't be a heathen so I'm going to have to say I like it apparently I like the new world shirt that Gareth Bale in this ordeal yeah. with Real Madrid just saying, stuff this, stuff, stuff, stick it, stick Zinedine. It. Yeah. I'm busy. Got to save some Welsh people. Got a nation <laughs> to save. <laughs> Got to save some Welsh people. It's going to be interesting. Look. But my, shout out to Kiefer, Kiefer Moore. He's my boy. Yeah. Look. Loved seeing Kiefer. Big Kiefer up top. My favourite Welsh player today behind Bale and Ramsey. England, yeah. we're excited to see what happens off the pitch. Look, don't build that up. That's a silly thing. No, it's, it's huge. Silly. I'm telling you, it's huge. He's going to have a Such massive a gossip. impact. Just a gossiper. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Luke's wicked whispers going on here. Okay, right. Should we end it there? Gareth Bale. Bad marking the hot issues. Hello, I'm Sydney, and welcome to my kind corner. World Kindness Day. That's what today is. So, in honour of that, Kind Club this week is just literally, a, it's World Kindness Day. Be kind to each other. And one day, hopefully, you will be able to get into Kind Club. Who's in Kind Club? Who's Chris made it Smalling. Who? who else? Jermaine Jenis. Who else? Athletic Bill Bow. Juan Mata? He's not in it yet. Why not? If you know anything that is uh, kind, within the world of footballs or anything up. else hit us up you've been kind club shout out again to uh kind kind cardiff kind kind of matters there yeah. was someone else in kind club as well but i was no we definitely didn't get into kind club kind club hashtag so unfortunately following on from kind club something very um sad happened it is sad. this week i'm great tell them what happened uh, we are, we live in, we reside in Cardiff and support Cardiff City and we we wanted to res pay our respects to Neil Warnock. Yeah, he hadn't died. He right can now. rear his cattle anywhere in Cardiff. I'm not sure if he ever Cardiff did get Road. the key. I think he did though. So, a pro a promote, they got... He's got the key of Cardiff. He lifted that Cardiff up, made the, got the fans back on side, which is a huge task and actually did wonders with the squad and the situation which he was given. So... He proved that you can uh, believe again in Cardiff City, make peace with whatever's gone gone ahead, all pull together in the same direction. Truly magnificent work from Neil Warnock. Okay, takže odpověď teda poznám slova velmi dobře. Let's outro this week's episode. We are finished. We are done we are out for another week that is us a touchline rant we're having our sixth live show on two different continents of this year this will be we are done we're finished we're out no more this year tickets for this is on eventbrite go to our facebook at, at a touchline rant tickets are up they're 10 pound per team five aside max that's the rule same as always come down have a drink have something to eat I do a football quiz, have a proper laugh. It? It's at Little Man Coffee, uh, December the 4th. 
starts at 7 p.m. Little Man Coffee in Cardiff. We would also like to say thank you to Bendy Geddig Media for producing um, all our episodes. CSKA. We'd like to thank CSKA Sophia Gardens football team, the club that we sponsor the shirts of. Thank you very much to them. The Wallet. The Wallet, yes. Thank you very much to the Wallet um, for just being you. You're brilliant. That's all the money from ticket sales for the live show being donated to the Wallet. All the money being made from the shirt sales of CSK Spy Guards with the touchline run on the front of the shirt. All of that money is going to the Wallet. So, yeah, get involved. Shirts are 25 quid. Tickets for the quiz are £10. All of that good stuff. (laughs) 